Hello, good evening, my friends. Welcome to another English class. Tonight we're going to we're going to complete the class number 18. Llegamos a la clase 18. Y con esto, with this we have just two more uh, classes after this one. Solo nos van a quedar lunes y martes and we say goodbye. So, it is important to be clear that you should have completed the homeworks from the platform. Los, los ejercicios de la plataforma deben de ser completos. Um, uh, time connection, ¿verdad? El, el tiempo de las conexiones es súper importante. Y uh, de igual manera, finalizar la survey, la encuesta eh, de satisfacción final que vamos a tener el día martes, ¿verdad? Me gustaría saber um, a quiénes de ustedes ya les llegó información, correo o WhatsApp acerca de la encuesta de, de satisfacción final. Podrían levantar un emoji, ¿verdad? Carita o thumb up, lo que quieran. Um, si alguien les llegó, si no, les va a llegar el transcurso de lunes y martes, porque eh, todo eso, pues, lo realizamos el día martes en la última clase. Right? So, the class for tonight is how to use good for polite informal requests. ¿Verdad? Cómo utilizar good, ¿verdad? Para eh, solicitudes formales. That's the... That's the topic for tonight. Así que vamos con lo siguiente. Diferentes formas de, de, de decir llamar la atención. Cuando ustedes dicen que algo le llamó la atención, puede ser un, una, una, it can be a situation, a person, could it be an action, could it be a place, an animal, I don't know, whatever. Puede ser lo que sea. Cuando algo le llama la atención. Right? So, here we have Five options or five forms. How to say llamar la atención. Tenemos la primera que es What got my attention was the coffee maker. What caught my eyes was that little dog. What drew my attention was your t-shirt. What struck me was your car. What stuck out to me was the park. Entonces, si se dan cuenta, cada uno de esos le fui agregando cosas como tu camisa, el parque, tu carro, el perrito, lo que sea. Entonces, todo esto, ¿verdad? Quiere decir, me llamó la atención. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, if a person is talking about any topic that is interesting for you, let's imagine, um, could it be about the galaxy? Están hablando de las galaxias y todo ese tema. Uh, you can say, oh, what got my attention was the third planet, or what caught my eyes was the sun, what drew my attention was the moon, y yeah, así sucesivamente. Podemos mencionar cualquier de estos. What got my attention, what caught my eyes, my eye was, uh, what drew my attention was, what struck me was, what stuck out to me was. So what we're going to do is that I'm going to call you one by one. And then as always, you mean you say hi, hello, good evening, present, and here. And then you tell me one of these phrases, me dicen una de estas frases, pero necesito que agreguen un tema. Podría ser eh, un animal. Algo que le llama la atención, una casa, una situación, un concierto. It can be whatever you want, lo que ustedes quieran. So, I'm going to present the picture. When we have the phrases. And you tell me, <clears throat> present, and then this phrase. Recuerden agregarle el complemento. Bien, Ana Cristina al parecer me dijo que tenía dificultades. No sé si Miguel creo que tenía fue y Wendy. Ok, 
Ok. Teacher, una consulta. Dime, Ertel. Eh, vaya, veo que ahí dice, significa llamar la atención, pero lo sí. vamos a, a decir como hablando de algo que ya pasó o que puede pasar. Sí, eh, puede ser cualquier cosa que le llame la atención. Por ejemplo, lo que me llama la atención es eh, el certamen de Miss Universo, un partido de fútbol, uh, eh, lo que sea, el cumpleaños, uh, un problema, lo que, lo que ustedes... Eh, se le venga la mente. No no, 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 no. Que ya haya pasado, ¿verdad? Sí, no, lo que sea. Okay. Por ejemplo, okay, what okay. got my attention was the president elections, ¿verdad? Lo okay. que me llamó la atención son las elecciones presidenciales. Nada que ver con un tema en específico. ¿Ok? Ok. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Brian, are you there? Hello. Yes. Ok, my uh... The Super Smash Brothers tournament uh, got my attention. No, what's got my attention? Eh, sería en lugar de what, solo got my attention. Mm -hmm. uh, got well, my attention. In okay. otro orden, pero se entiende. Thank you. That's okay. And what about David? Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, my friend. Tell me. One of these phrases. What cow my eye was dog. My dog. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> Doris. Hello. Okay. I guess Stefan is not here, right? What about Gracia? <clears throat> what got my attention was... I don't know. Puede ser pink color, color rosado, lo que sea. Oh, okay. my dog. Or your dog, ok. Recuerden que el inglés no se trata de qué saben, sino que tanto pueden improvisar. Eso es bien importante. Thank you. Um, Héctor, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. What caught my attention was watching tomorrow classic Barcelona versus Real Madrid. Oh, yes, I guess. What time is it going <laughs> to be? Eight o'clock, right? Eight fifteen, something like that. Um, sí, no sé, sí. la, en la mañana va a ser, ¿verdad? In the morning. Sí, ocho, ocho treinta. Okay. Yes. We're, okay. we're waiting for that soccer match, of course. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Imelda, are you there? Okay, we don't have Imelda and Ivan. Last year is my attention was the uh, computer. Okay, that's okay. Perfect. Joanna. What drew my attention was her hire. Oh, yes, definitely. Thank you. Uh, Laura? Uh, was, was struck my was um, the right at night? Mm -hmm. That's it. Thank you. Solo que sería what struck me? Was struck, struck me. me. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Uh, Luz, are you there? No, right. Okay. And Miguel, I guess it's not here. Creo que venía de camino. Me comentó Nelson. What struck me was a paragraph I read in the morning. Thank you. Very nice. Very nice example. Ricardo, your turn. Okay. Uh, what got my attention was a band Coldplay. I okay, good one. Concerted band. Perfect, my friend. Thank you. Wilmer. Present teacher. Thank you. Mm. No, no sé. Mm. Ok. <laughs> Dime un artista o grupo que te gusta. Mm. 
Okay, yeah. but puede decir what got my attention was Aniceto Molina. What got okay. my attention was Leodan. What got my attention was Tyron Maiden. It no importa en sí, solo lo que se te venga a la mente, right? That's the point. Sí, sí, se dice. Okay, what got my attention was ACDC. E incluso pueden ser más específicos. Por ejemplo, what got my attention was Thunderstruck from ACDC. Entonces está diciendo lo que me llamó la atención más fue la canción Thunderstruck. Entonces, por ahí vas. Thank you. Eh, Jasmine? Are you there? Mm, quizás no. Okay. Remember that some things that I'm going to ask you, algunas cosas que les voy a preguntar, no tienen que ver tanto con lo que ustedes saben eh, con el tema de estructuras gramaticales, sino con, con lo que se les viene a la mente. Uh, normally, I, I compare English uh, with creativity. Normalmente comparo el inglés con la creatividad que a veces tenemos, con lo que se nos venga, con cuestiones que salen de la nada, pues son esporádicas, ¿ok? Eh, Jasmine, no te escucho. Posiblemente hay problemas ya sea con tu internet o el dispositivo o los audífonos si estás con eso. Si no, te recomiendo, Jasmine, que reinicies eh, tu computadora, teléfono o tablet con lo que estés ahí conectado y ya verás que se va a solucionar. Normalmente Zoom da esos problemas. Ok, let's continue. Wow. The, I, I like this. I really like this question. Which character from books or movies would you like to be and why? One of the answers could be, I would like to be, look at this. I would like to be Neo from the Matrix. Okay, this is one example. O lo voy a cambiar. I would like to be <clears throat> who else? I would like to be Luke Skywalker from Star Wars. Okay. It depends on you. Okay. I would like to be, me gustaría ser. Who? Quien? Uh, it's uh, something, something hypothetical, uh, hypothetical. Of course, it is Hello, part teacher. of the fiction. Hello, Jasmine. Okay, Ahora sí te escucho. Pero yo tenía mi frase. Dímela. Hola. Okay. What come my eyes were green eyes on brow skin. Wow. Very specific. Thank you. A good combination. <laughs> Nice, Jasmine. I like it. Thank you. Okay, my friends. Uh, thank you for answering. Gracias por todas sus respuestas son importantes. I need you to text and tell me what would you like, I mean, who would you like to be? What character? ¿Qué personaje le llamó la atención? A character from books or movies that uh, caught your attention, right? Or caught your eye, right? And you say, well, in another world, in another life, I would like to be this person. I would like to be this character. Quería ser esta persona en una cuestión ficticia. Okay? I'm waiting for your answers in the chat. Y luego las leo.
Okay. Um, let's see what do we have here. I got interesting answers. Uh, Gracias. You start. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like to be a spirit because horses are my favorite animals and it's a free and indomitable soul. Yeah, I guess that's a very interesting movie. And spirit is uh, like uh, one of my favorite characters. Yeah, I like it. Nice, gracias. Even it is an animated movie, it transmits a lot, right? That character. Uh, perfect. What about David? Well, I would like to be Han Solo because he's the main. Yes. Yeah. He, with, with the girls, with the, in fights, he's a good pilot. Yeah. A lot of things, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. He's all, he's always the winner all the time. Yeah. Han Solo. <laughs> yeah. Of course. Thank you. Uh, what about um, Nelson and then Ivan? Yeah. <laughs> I would like to be Darth Vader. Okay, 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 okay. Come on here. Uh, David, <laughs> Han Solo, <laughs> Nelson, Darth Vader. Okay, that, that's really nice. I guess Darth Vader is the coolest uh, villain. Es el villano más genial. Yes, pretty yes, good one. Yes. Very <laughs> positive, uh, a good performance. Siempre que aparece. Les... Yeah. Iconic. Yeah. Iconic. Dispara Iconic. todo. Yeah, todo, todo. Thank you. Um, we go with Ivan and then Brian. I would like to be Doctor Strange. Yeah, I Teacher. I really I really love Doctor Strange humor and jokes. He's he's very very sarcastic, similar to Tony Stark, but he's really clever as well. Very nice, Doctor Strange. Yes. Super yes. interesante. Okay, thank you. Um, bueno, Doctor Strange tiene una gran personalidad, de hecho. Personality is really nice. Uh, Brian and then Joan. Well, uh, I really like uh, to be Grogu uh, mm -hmm. from The Mandalorian. Yeah. Since he's like a uh, baby Yoda, he's uh, cute and very funny. And I will be great to have the best Mandalorian as a dad. Of course it is. And... Believe me, Grogu is really powerful. And he's like, a, he belongs to a, a very strange race. I guess he's 50 years old. Creo que tiene 50 años, ¿verdad? Mandalorian. I guess yeah. something like that. Very interesting, yeah, character. Thank you. Uh, Joanna and then Hector. Okay, I will be Wonder Woman hmm? because she has a magical bone that forces her to help the trudge make his hair lose her memory and is indestructible. Yeah, and he, uh, she belongs to the Amazon uh, fighters, right? And all the Amazons, uh, they are warriors, son guerreras, las Amazonas son muy interesantes. So all this uh, mythology or all this, uh, yeah, like information that she got, uh, makes her like a like a standard like no sé lo, la hace como muy representativa yeah thank you wonder woman of course it is i like it i, I like her really nice and besides besides she's really powerful aparte es super bastante poderosa nice eh, hector and then laura okay teacher i would like to be the char character of Patrick Jane from the serial mentalista to be able to help people psychology since there are many people today who need a good by washing to change the mentality of thinking and of course the better people okay yeah okay Patrick Jane honestly I have not seen that series but it looks like really interesting and uh, this man um looks like very smart person se ve como que super listo and he has yeah. a lot of talents eso es lo que he percibido i have perceived that he's a uh, talentful yes okay very nice and he helps people right through his talents a través de sus talentos ayuda 
course, Hector. Thank you. Laura and then Wilmer. Okay. Uh, I would like to be one the maximum. Scarlet Wish. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yes, I guess uh, when the maximum had a difficult life, right? Because uh, she lived during the war and after that she has she had like a, a development of, of character to un desarrollo de personaje and she's really powerful. Exactly. Poderosa and she's cool. Really nice. Thank you. Good. And Laura. I'm sorry, uh, Wilmer. I would like to be Arturito. Yes, of course. O como le dicen Arturito algunos. Okay. Arturito is, uh, honestly, it's my favorite droid. Very intelligent. He's loyal, super leal. Intelligent. He appears when it is needed. Aparece cuando se necesita. Siempre. Always. Okay. What about Jasmine? Okay, Jasmine. Maybe again we can hear you. Possibly de nuevo ya no te escuchamos. Puede ser. Okay. Um, hay otros que no me han contestado. Posiblemente después contesten. Quizás de cuando termino. Uh, sí, otra vez seguramente no te funciona, Jasmine. Vamos a intentar nuevamente. Ok. Eh, recuerden que si ustedes te salen por alguna razón. Ok, Jasmine. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, ok. Algo le pasa. Creo que cuando le desconecta el audífono. Eso es. Ese cambio, ese cambio de, de, de interfaz. Ajá. Ah, ok. Entonces sería, I would like to be the chatted of Wonder Woman. Ok. Eh, actually, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Char character. 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 Es como, character. sí, es como decir carácter, pero con un acento diferente al inicio. Character. Character. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes, it's a character. Uh, well, Wonder Woman is a very iconic uh, uh, character, un personaje muy icónico, definitivamente. Thank you. Yes, Wonder Woman. Really nice. And now we're going to have a conversation, part two. Vamos a tener la parte dos de la conversación que teníamos, well, yesterday we uh, worked with part one. In this case, we have part uh, conversation three and conversation four. And here we have this. <clears throat> Siempre para finalizar con el tema del would. Okay. Where would you like to live in the future? I like to live in the country what would you do i have a farm what that would be fun yeah i want to plant my own food donde te gustaría vivir en el futuro me gustaría vivir en el campo y que harías tendría una granja eso sería divertido ¿sí? plan yo quiero plantar mi o cultivar mi propia comida Number four, number four, what would you like to drink? ¿Qué te gustaría beber? I like iced tea, please. Me gustaría el té helado, por favor. Do you want sugar with that? ¿Quieres azúcar con eso? No, but I like some lemon. No, pero me gustaría uh, limón. Would you like a straw? ¿Te gustaría una pajilla? No, thanks. Future, country, fun. Como decir fan de fanático? Um, como decir fan también de ventilador pero se escribe diferente pero es la misma proceso aun 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 food iced tea sugar como sugar daddy sugar mommy straw straw ok we're going to practice this vamos a practicar eso a ver si alguien me puede enviar eh, la captura al chat por favor Ricardo, here we have your answer. Okay, tell me, my friend. Who would you like to be? What character? Okay, I would like to be Harvey Specter from Street or Lady of the Oh, really? It is about lawyers? Es acerca de abogados o temas judiciales or something like that? 
Yes. Okay, it sounds like that. I haven't seen that, but I'm interested. Estoy interesado en verla. Creo que la voy a ver. Okay. Es buena. Está en Netflix. Okay, thank Some you. <laughs> thank you. Good recommendation. No sé cuántas temporadas tendrá. How many seasons? I don't know, but well, I guess this December I'm going to 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 watch it. La voy a ver este December. Okay, thank you for the recommendation. Um, let's see what about if we we'll practice a little bit. Luego vamos con otra actividad. See. Okay, let's practice a little bit, please. Remember to interchange dialogues. Recuerden intercambiar diálogos. See you in a moment. Lo veo un momento.
Ok. Ok, here we have conversation three and four. Maybe some participants want to pronounce uh, three or four, depends on you. Ok. Do we have volunteers? If not, I can select. Right, for example. I can select Gracia and Wilmer. Could you help me, please? Conversation three or four, depends on you. Number three. Number three, okay. Uh, Wilmer, are you okay? Okay. Uh, where would you like to live in the future? I like to live in the country. What words you do? I have a farm. That word you fun? Yeah, I want to plant my own food. Thank you. Okay, and for the other, maybe. Let's have Laura and Miguel. Are you okay? Could you practice? Pudieron practicar? Hola, teacher. No. Bueno, yo tengo problemas de conexión ahorita y Miguel creo que va de camino, creo sí, que... Sí, creo, creo que va de camino y vi Ajá. que después te conectaste. Ok, sí. entonces podrías ayudarme tú, Laura. Vamos a intentarlo. Con... Let me see. Quizás Iván. ¿Podrías, Iván? Ok. Great teacher, no problem. Okay, uh, conversation four, uh, you're the man and Laura, woman. Okay, please. Okay. What do you like to drink? It's like uh, ice to please. please. Do you want a sugar with that? Not, but I'd like some lemon. Do you like a straw? No, thanks. Thank you. Very nice. Very good pronunciation. Okay, let's move. And here we have this. How to use good light to, I guess this is but like easy. Creo que no hay mayor dificultad. Ya vimos affirmative negative equations about wood. Por ejemplo, use would like to say what you want, especially when making offers and requests. ¿Verdad? Utilizamos good like para decir lo que queremos, especialmente cuando hay ofertas o solicitudes. Singular and plural. Maybe we can have pronunciation of Joanna with singular. Podría, Joanna. Las dos oraciones. Yes, teacher. She would like to send the report today. He would like to meet the new employees tonight. Thank you. So let's listen with the plural. Tenemos el plural también acá. Posiblemente nos puede ayudar. What about David? Podrías, David. David would like. David, are you okay? Okay, maybe. Yes. Teacher. Las dos oraciones de plural, ¿podrías eh, leerlas? Yes. They would like to speak to a supervisor. Perfect. And we'd like to ship this content tomorrow. Thank you. Very nice. La Now the... con el micrófono apagado, teacher, sorry. Ah, a veces pasa. Sí, suele suceder. Okay. And now that we have, like, a better idea about the use of wood, here we have some exercise. And here we have like um 18 um options but because the letter is well the words are kind of small como son un poquito pequeñas las como se llama las las letras vamos a ver si podemos hacer del 1 al 6 Y del 10 al 15. 
Vamos a intentar hacer ese, ¿ok? Um, remember, there are some sentences and we have to select the correct option, letter A o letter B, ¿verdad? Letra A o letra B. Les daré un par de segundos para que vean este ejercicio. Eh, recuerden, remember always to have two or three options. Tengan dos o tres opciones de ejercicios para que nadie les gane, ¿verdad? La, la oración que ustedes querían decir. Les doy un par de segundos. Okay, Davey, we we'll start with you, my friend. What number? Number three. Okay, let's move. Mm -hmm. Number three. Letter A. Okay, are could you, you read the sentence? Uh -huh. Are you yeah. ready? Are you ready to order? Yes. Mm -hmm. I would like a sandwich, please. Okay, I would like. Perfect. I would like mm -hmm. a sandwich. Thank you. Okay, who else? Me. Okay, Brian. Number two, mm -hmm. would you like to see? Mm -hmm. And? Uh, an action movie tomorrow night. Okay, thank you. Would you like to see? Perfect. Uh, Wilmer and Joanna. Okay, Wilmer. Number uh, 15. Number 15, let's go. Uh, um, which restaurant? Um, uh, sería la A. Mm -hmm. Which no, restaurant? Uh, where the, would you uh, like? Where do you, you like? Aha, uh -huh. solo que aquí no hace falta el two. Mm -hmm. ah, to okay. go tonight. Thank you. Very nice. Fifteen is complete. Uh, Joanna and then Ricardo. Number 10, teacher, este, pienso que es will, will like. El eight. You, please, I need you to read uh, the, the sentence. Sería, okay, sería which will you like? Strawberry or vanilla ice cream? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Vanilla. Vanilla. Ice. Vanilla. Vanilla. <laughs> okay. Bien raro, bien raro, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Thank you, uh, Joanna. Ricardo, please. What number? Okay. The number six. Number six. Julia, would your kid like to play at the park next weekend? Number uh, the literal, no sé cómo se pronuncia la literal B. B. Eh, uh, option B o letter B. Letter B. Okay. Yes. Uh, would like to play porque aquí está el verbo, ¿verdad? Yeah. Thank yes. you. Thank you very much. Uh, Laura, please. En número 12. Hello. Mm -hmm. Hola. Sí, podrías leerlo. Um, no. Sería, hello, hello. I would like to speak to Sarah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Please. Mm -hmm. uh, please. <laughs> Thank you, I would like to speak. Thank you very I nice. Like. Okay. Let's... Uh, Check who else? Jasmine. Okay. Hello. Hi. Uh, number 11. Ah, uh, ya me, ya me fui. Uh, would, 
No sé, ay, ya, ay, no, se me ordenó, se me desordenó. Sí, would you corazón. like to drink? Would, would, would you ¿Sí? like to drink? Así es. Ajá. Sí, así yes, es. of course. Would you like to drink some tea? Yes, okay. I would. Thank you. Uh, maybe Wilmer. And then Gracia. Okay, maybe Wilmer is not available. Uh -huh. Oh, yes, Wilmer. Like, uh -huh. Uh -huh. What number? Ah, yo ya había pasado. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry, gracias. Uh -huh. Number, number four. Okay, let's go with number four. I'm bored. What would you like to do this weekend? Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you like to? Thank you. Nelson, I don't know if you can select one of these sentences. Uh, yes, uh, 14. 14. Jim said. Jim said he like he would like to cook dinner for us this mm -hmm. evening, evening. Thank you, evening. Very nice. Okay. Wendy creo que no, no puede, ¿verdad? Me había comentado que no. Hector, what about you? Okay. Fine. Okay, how fine. Many, how many chocolate chip cookies would you like? Go uh -huh. like? Would you like? Thank you, would you. Like. Thank you. Good one. Okay. I'm going to complete 13. Are you ready to order? Yes, I would like to try the garden salad. And number one, here we have, I would like to travel to Spain next summer, but I don't have enough money. Okay. Well done. Okay, thank you for all your answers. Let's move to the other part that we have here, of course. Okay. Okay, we're going to have a listening exercise. So please be ready to take note of phrases, ideas, sentences, or words that you can or you could identify. We're going to listen three times this audio, okay? This is the first. Let's go. My mother's speech. Our mothers are the reason for our existences. Mothers are God's gift to humanity. All mothers love their children selflessly. There is nothing as pure as a mother's love for the child. My mother is my role model. All mothers are strong since they have carried us for nine months in their womb. Mothers always want what is best for her children. All people who have a mother are lucky. Teacher. Teacher, yo creo que es el mismo audio de ayer. El mismo de ayer. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. Lo tengo duplicado. Ya me va pasando dos veces. Tuve un desorden con el tema de carpetas. Let me see. Yo creo que es para que lo aprendamos. <laughs> Sí, pero captan bastante bien. Es para ver si estamos en clase, teacher. Ajá, uh -huh, para eso. Eso veo, pero tampoco. <risa> ok, sí, sí, sí. Creo que el otro audio sí se me perdió entonces, pero bueno. Yo veo que están más que buxas. Ok, let's move then. Ok. 
vamos a ir con un reading. Y para eso lo vamos a segmentar en segmentar en partes. Por ejemplo, you have uh, one, two, three, four paragraphs. Cuatro párrafos. El primer es color. I'm sorry. Let me check this. This is not working again, PowerPoint. Okay, I'm going to select some of you. And I need you to read parts of this paragraph. Okay, uh, the topic is qualities, the printer qualities, las características, ¿verdad? De una impresora. Color. We're going to start with maybe Wilmer and then Ivan. Okay, in this case, Okay. Uh, uh, the on the here, and then the other person is going to be on the here. That's the information. Yes, yeah, the information. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. Okay, color. Color is important for user who need to print page for percentage. Or map maps and other page. Other color is part of the information. Okay, thank you. Uh, we we'll go with Joanna and Gras. Okay, Joanna, color printers. Color printers could also be set the prime only in black and white. Thank you. Gracias. Color And printers. Ahora. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they used to work in cartridge. Cartridges. 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 No cartridges. Cartridges. One color and one blank ink that need to be replaced after a certain a certain number of pages. Pages, thank you. Laura, please, Pages. users who don't have. Laura, are you there? Sí, sí, solo que sigo sí, teniendo problemas. Voy. Um, user who don't know how I speak new for color uh, and who prints a lot of paints will fill a uh, black and white and painter she's to operate to operate thank you to operate okay okay we go now with resolution and in this case i will need uh, brian please could you read all resolution the two lines Printer resolution. Brian, could you? Eh, te, lo siento. Pensé que ya estaba hablando. Uh, printer resolution. The sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured uh, in dust per inch DPA uh must in inexpensive printer proved su sufficient resolution for most prop most purposes purposes at 600 dpi dpa thank you okay that's the resolution 
Now let's go with speed. Uh, Ricardo, could you help me, please? With the okay. three lines? Yes. The speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printer print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printed is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Thank you. And finally, here we have memory. And for this memory, we're going to have Ivan and Nelson. Okay, Ivan, please you start with a memory. And I'm going to show it here. Okay, the first part. And okay. hmm? memory, most printers come with a small amount for memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expensive. Mm -hmm. Be the user. Thank you, Nelson. Please having more. Having more that the minimum amount of memory is helpful and fastest faster. When printed out page with large images images or table with Linux around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Thank you, very nice. Okay, I know it is kind of complicated uh, because if you notice, mm -hmm. uh, it is like technical vocabulary, vocabulary technical, so kind of difficult in some cases. So, but we, here we have some characteristics, for example, color, resolution, speed, memory, okay? And here we have some questions. Why color is important for some users? What does DPI stand for? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? And what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Vamos con la primera. Why is color important for some users? ¿Por qué es, el, es importante el color para algunos usuarios? Okay. Colors. Alguien me podría decir por qué es importante el color. Veamos el párrafo del color. En the in the first en el primero teacher dice the color is important for user who need to print pay for presentation or maps. Thank you. In all the page. Mm -hmm. That's it. It's mainly focused on uh, presentations or maps. Very nice. Yes. That, that's true. Thank you. Okay. Here we have number two now. Uh, what does DPI stand for? When we say stand for, what does significa DPI? Okay. Let's listen now. DPI. Can you notice? Dots per inch, que son puntos por pulgada. Okay, DPI. Number three, why are the color printers more expensive? Okay. Any idea why are more expensive? ¿Por qué son más caras las impresoras a color? Uh, because uh, the color printers, you have mm -hmm. a multicolor or uh, with one uh, with with one uh, printer. Uh, mm -hmm. But for example, uh, other other printers, uh, you change the color. Okay, that's it. That's it. They're multicolor, of course. Thank you, Brian. Uh, four, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? Uh, ¿Qué es algo importante para alguien que imprime mucho? Okay. Maybe we can focus on speed. No, no podemos enfocar en la velocidad.
y Hit, ajá. Y digamos, if you do much printing, y do you need to print on the speed or Mm minute? -hmm. Yes, per minute. Yes. You have to how much uh -huh. pay attention. how much by page uh, print for um, for a minute. Per minute, of course, because you 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 have to do it fast. So tiene que ser rápido. Thank you. And the last one, what is the amount of memory that most pin, uh, printers come with? ¿Cuál es la cantidad de memoria con la que la mayoría de impresores viene? I mean, in the memory, do we have the answer here? For example, one megabyte. Yep. Most printers, yes. One megabyte and that's, or that's enough for the, the majority. Thank you. Very nice. Let's move with the other. Okay. Now uh, we're going to have the second speaking activity. I guess we're going to find very interesting answers here. Creo que vamos a encontrar respuestas bastante interesantes. Because we have uh, uh, experiences about this. We have lived different uh, situations, but with similarities, con similitudes. Is the corporal uh, punishment necessary to raise kids at home? ¿Es uh, necesario el castigo físico o corporal para uh, criar a niños en casa? Yes, no, sometimes, depends. Digan, ¿por qué? Reason. I'm going to wait for your answers in the chat. Espero por sus respuestas en el chat. Y luego las leemos. Then we're going to read them.
Well, we have interesting ideas and points of view. Some of them are based on experiences. Some other are based on ideas, um, philosophy that we have read, maybe listened. Here we have Gracia and then David. Please go ahead. My job is very good. I think uh, not because physical abuse only contributes to more violence. 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 Mm -hmm. Children must be educated with patience and values. Thank you. We go with uh, David and Joanna. Well, in my opinion, a correction in time is better than a thousand years in the future. Mm -hmm. Well, correction is like a, a general term, but it is like establishing limits, right, David? Establecer limits. Yeah. Limits. Yeah. And yeah. Could it be? Thank you. Uh, Joanna and then Wilbur, please. Okay, in my opinion, depend because many times they behave very badly and a, punit a punishment <laughs> is necessary and that does not mean that they meet in thin sign it can be pulling their air or eating <laughs> the with the uh -huh. bell how to tie <laughs> but not from of of the public, but I hope and explain why. Interesting. And maybe keywords. Punishment is necessary, uh, but it's not mistreat. No es maltrato, but maybe punishment. Is that un tipo de castigo? And pulling their ears. Yes. Maybe one time, two times, but not in front of people, right? Not in public. Good point. Thank you, Joanna. And what about Wilmer and then Hector? In my opinion, it is not necessary with a good punishment. Okay, punishment can be different, right? Not necessarily uh, physical. Thank you. Hector and then Brian, please. Okay. Well, in my case, corporal punish puni punishment is the solution to rising and chill. I, it is not necessary, but you teach him to do things well. You educate him in the best way with serious, seriousness, and you let him know the good and the bad. Okay, thank you. Rising and chill. Uh -huh. When you educate, okay, good things and bad things or positive and negative. So if that kid knows the difference of good and bad, yeah, it, it is not going to be necessary corporal punishment. Thank you, Dr. Brian and Ricardo. Well, um... I think it depends uh, a lot on what you have to, what you have done. Uh, you have to know how who uh, to have a balance between uh, between uh, the two scenes uh, nowadays. Uh, since corporal punishment is not applied, uh, there are many mummies. Uh, or very rich childrens. Okay, thank you. Yes, it is. It is true when you say. Let me check this. Depends on what you have done. Okay, yeah. There are many mummies are very rude children. And um, we're talking about extremes. Hablamos de extremos, right? To be very aggressive or to be very tolerant. Of course, thank you. Uh, Ricardo and Nelson. Okay. Uh, somewhat difficult topic. 
in my personal opinion, there are children with very rebellious and disrespectful behavior even toward their own parents. Those perhaps do need physical punishment, but mild, nor mistreat them like animals. But it will be like a last resort first you have to treat them with words. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay, um, one, two point, quiero señalar. I want to point some of your ideas. For example, uh, there are children with rebellious and disrespectful behavior. I don't know if you have noticed, but nowadays there are more rebellious kids. Kids and teenagers are always rebellious because that's their nature. Es su naturaleza, rebelarse. That's for, for sure. But nowadays, I I see more disrespectful kids. Veo jóvenes o niños más irrespetuosos. It depends on the different aspects. Depende de muchos aspectos, right? But uh, in the case, you say perhaps... Uh, do need physical punishment in some cases, right? Uh, it is not mistreat, no es maltrato, okay? But it, it would be nice if it is the last resource, si es el último recurso, right? There yes. are different filters, hay como muchos filtros por acá, ¿verdad? Para sobrepasar ciertos límites. Thank you, Ricardo. Uh, Nelson and Miguel, please. It is not always necessary. Te escuchamos lejos, Nelson. Tal vez puedes acercarte un poco. My internet is small. Is... It, it is not working good. Thank you. Uh, I repeat. Okay, please. It is not always necessary. Uh, some children just want us to talk to them. Other need to be correct, but without excess. Seem sometimes uh, what uh, what be what we believe to be the core can aggravate the problem. Very interesting. Some... Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Some kids. They are kind of rebellious, but they just need some talks. They need just communicate. But there are some others that they need correction. Hay otros que necesiten corrección de otros en otros aspectos, right? So it, it is like depends. It is not to put all the kids in the same page. Es como no ponerles un solo, que una sola página, que todos son así. No. Right, it depends on the personalities, of course. But, y, y hoy duele más perder un teléfono que no se los, que se los quita. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> guess. Chistoso. I guess it is like I remember, but maybe in the past, uh, when my mom or most of the moms hide some shoes, como le, cuando les escondían la pelota o los tacos, that was really mm. painful. Eso dolía, right? Sí. Yes, a, a lot. Well, in my case, that was the, 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 the case. Era el caso. Eh, ahora es diferente. Now it's different. They have some priorities. Tienen otras prioridades. Right? Yes. Yes, it's like the cell phone is like... Social media, see? ¿sí? Social media. Movie. Of course. Eh, they are exposed to that. Eh, quizás ese es el talón de Aquiles de, 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 de algunos jóvenes. And it is that we have to... Pay attention to what they are. That they are like to connected or or maybe uh, yes. Cuando están cuando tienen when they have to codependence mucha codependencia. Yes. Right. So that's it. Thank you. Interesting. Miguel, please. Uh, it depends because. Because there are times when you need it and many other when you know you don't. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Miguel. It is true. Just remember, all of you, remember when you were a kid, 
and sometimes uh, the punishment was not necessary. You just needed some talk. Fíjense, cuando el, el castigo que le dieron no era tan necesario. Solo necesitaban una charla. In some other times, yes, algunas veces sí lo necesitamos. But in some other cases, maybe some conversation would have to work, to have funcionado, quizás. But well, times are different. Uh, Wendy, I don't know if you can participate with your uh, yes. opinion. Thank you. It depends on the values and the moral principles that are taught to them forming their uh, character from their first step and knowing their behavior and from their setting limits and roles. Thank you. Maybe four key words, cuatro palabras clave. Values and principles, ¿verdad? Valores y principios. That, uh, in my opinion, it is the base of the families. Es la base de la familia. Values and principles. And the other, you have behavior, uh, I'm sorry, limits and rules. Limites y reglas. If you have your house and you establish limits, if you establish limits and reglas, and they are respected, they are okay. Si hay reglas y, y pues, limites que se respetan, Nice, but we as parents, we as adults, we have to respect the rules as well. I mean, nosotros debemos de respetar las reglas y límites, right? So in that way, there is a coherence, hay coherencia in what we think and we say, lo que pensamos y lo que decimos. So, interesting topic. I guess maybe we can speak more about this, but remember that speaking activities is for you to express your ideas and also uh, to develop fluency, mejorar la fluidez, learn vocabulary, aprender vocabulario, practice English, and so on. Okay, thank you for all your answers, and now we're going to have this. The difference between say versus tell. Say significa decir. Tell significa contar, pero contar no de números, porque eso es count. Significa contar anécdota, contar un chisme, contar uh, algo que sucedió. Ok, let's check uh, this information. You say something to someone. You tell someone something. Fíjense cómo está eso. Tú le dices algo a alguien. Tú le cuentas a alguien algo. Repito. Say, you say something to someone. Tú le dices algo a alguien. Tell. Tú le cuentas a alguien algo. Y vamos a ver los ejemplos. Helen said, I love you to her dad. Helen dijo, te amo a su papá. Okay, Raj says he has a new job. Raj dijo que él tiene un nuevo trabajo. I said that I was sorry. Lo dije que yo lo sentía. Vamos con tell. You, uh, Helen, told her dad that she loved him. Creo que ese es el ejemplo más icónico que podemos tener. El tema de gel. En la primera, Helen dijo, te amo a su papá. Y la siguiente, Helen le dijo a su papá que ella lo amaba. ¿Notan la diferencia? En la anterior decimos, Raj dice que tiene un nuevo trabajo. Y en la otra dice... Raj me contó que él tenía un nuevo trabajo. Luego, I told Yuki that I was sorry. Le dije a Yuki que lo sentía. Vamos, exception, tell. Eh, decimos tell normalmente cuando decimos cuenta un chiste, tell a joke. <coughs> cuenta una historia, ¿verdad? Tell a story. Cuenta una mentira, tell a lie. Cuenta la verdad, tell a truth. 
he told a joke that he eh, tells good stories. Él dijo un chiste, él cuenta buenas historias. Ellos eh, me dijeron una mentira, me contaron. Yo siempre digo la verdad. Vamos a otro ejemplo para que tengamos más claro esto. Say versus, uh, versus tell. Uh, you say something to someone, you tell someone to something. Uh, parecido. Veamos la primera. Richard says he has a new car. Uh, Ricardo dice que él tiene un nuevo carro. Y en la otra decimos, Ricardo me contó que él tiene un nuevo carro. Okay. Richard told me that he has a new car. Creo que la clave, fíjense bien, cuando alguien utiliza tell es que le va a contar a alguien. Fíjense bien. Told me. Told, bueno, told es el pasado de tell. Told his father. Told Richard. Entonces, cuando tengamos tell or told, a la, después de eso debe de haber una persona. En cambio, cuando say, no, no necesariamente. ¿Verdad? Veamos el ejercicio anterior. Y vamos a tener prácticamente lo mismo. Eh, cuando tenemos el tell, fíjense bien, aquí tenemos a una persona. Por ejemplo, tell, uh, told her dad, told me, told Yuki. Okay. Y cuando tenemos say, no necesariamente tenemos a una persona a la que le estamos diciendo las cosas, solo como en general. ¿Ok? Así que la clave es que si aparece después del tell o told una persona, her dad, me, Yuki o quien sea, ¿verdad? Entonces se está empleando bien el tell. Vamos a unos ejercicios. Bien, vamos al primero. Les doy un par de, de segundos para que vean las opciones. Recuerden que tienen que, o oh, como sugerencia, tengan este, diferentes opciones. Por si alguien pues también elige la oración que ustedes tienen pensado comentar. Les doy unos segundos. Okay, we go with David. Any option you want to complete, David? Number, you know, number three, mm -hmm. 
What did he say to you? Ok, muy bien. Pero como decimos que le van a contar a alguien, sería tell. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué te contó a ti? Ok, thank you. Eh, Joana. Ok, sería la number six. Okay. Tell me what. Tell me uh -huh. what he said to you, please. Ok, tell me. Uh -huh. Hay unas canciones que dice tell me why. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh, por eso me ubiqué. Tome como una de... Hay dos canciones que he escuchado que dicen eso. Tell me why. Uh -huh. Una de los Baxter Boys que he escuchado mucho, mi prima. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. <risa> Yo no. por eso. <risa> ¿Verdad? Me imaginé. Eh, uh -huh. Ricardo, please, my friend. And the number four, teacher. Please. Harry always tell me about the day at work. Uh -huh. Sería tells por tercera persona, but yes. Tells me about his day at work. Perfect. Uh, we go now with Laura. Bien, gracias. Ok, number five. Sería, how can you say, say that? ¿Cómo puedes decir eso? Yes. How can you say that? Thank you. Uh, gracias. Ok. Ok. Ok, gracias, and Brian. Uh, number... Number seven. Please. Janet tell that the book is hers. Ok, sería seis. Aquí. Seis, sí, porque no le cuenta a nadie. Solo dice que es ese libro, ¿verdad? Que el libro es de ella. Thank you. Brian. Don't say Carol about the party. Ok, muy bien. Aunque aquí es tell. Porque Eso sí aquí... está confuso, teacher. Sí, yo sé, yo sé. I know, I know. Lo que pasa es que cuando tengan tell y hay una persona que, es, que le cuenten a alguien, por ejemplo, nueve, don't tell Carol, no le cuenten a Carol. ¿Verdad? Pero que no es lo mismo, no le digas a Carol. Lo que pasa es que sería don't say Don't say there is a party to Carl. Sería, no le digas eh, que hay una fiesta a Carl, ¿verdad? Pero tell siempre va a ir a la par de un me, you, he, she, todo eso. Carl puede ser, eh, puede ser cambiada por she, ¿verdad? Don't tell her. Mm -hmm. Bueno, no she, tell her, ¿verdad? Pero a, a eso me refiero, ¿verdad? Vamos a tener más práctica de eso, no se preocupen. Yo sé que es algo confuso, pero por eso los tengo acá con eso, porque sí confunde. Entonces, cuando no tenga un, un, un sujeto o un objeto, es say. Gracias, dime. I will try. Number one. Yes. What did he say you? Casi. <laughs> Oh, no. Es que aquí está you, aquí está, ¿verdad? ¿Qué te contó? Uh -huh. Pero, pero, pero bien, thank you. Miguel, vamos a intentar, no se preocupen, solo son dos opciones. Number two. Yeah. Can you say me? Where the post office? <laughs> Tell me where. Sí, vaya, vaya. Le, sí, thank you, Miguel. Ok, Jasmine, vamos, sigamos intentando. Ahí tengo más ejercicios, no se preocupen. Number eight. Ok, eight. Eh, como que adivinas esto. <ríe> yes. They tell. They tell. No. They say. They say. Va, ok, yes. Va, va. Ricardo, ya. Yeah. Aquí le voy a poner Number unos ejemplos. Ajá. Dice, Ana always say the proof. Yes. ¿Sabes qué tercera persona? Ricardo salva el grupo. Pero ahí está. Say the truth. <ríe> Ana siempre dice la verdad. She never lies. Ella nunca miente. Ok. Entonces, el punto clave de este <ríe> es lo siguiente. Eh, normalmente tenemos los personal pronouns o subject pronouns, ¿verdad? Que es I. ¿Verdad? Y you, he, she, y así sucesivamente. Y están los object pronouns. Los object pronouns son me, 
es donde recae el, el ¿cómo se llama? El, la acción, no sé si esos eh, se los explicaron, si no mañana le voy, eh, mañana, Monday, el lunes le voy a explicar eso, lo de los object pronouns, que es donde recae la acción. Entonces, si alguna de estos aparece el you, el nombre de una persona eh, o algo así, quiere decir que va a tell, porque le está contando a alguien, a ella, a ustedes, y así sucesivamente. Pero ok, um, on Monday we're going to continue with this. Le voy a preparar más ejercicios y le voy a eh, explicar lo de los subject and object pronouns que es bastante importante y siempre se ve en el, ¿cómo se llama? en el basic ¿verdad? en el nivel básico vamos a practicar las conversaciones con el can porque eh, vamos, el can es como decir could, solo que can es presente y el could es pues puede utilizarse como pasado o como un podría vamos a ver So, Todd, are you good at sports? I'm pretty good at sports. I can play basketball and baseball, and I can run pretty fast, but I can't jump that high. Can you play soccer? No, I can play soccer well, because I am not good at kicking the ball. Dice, entonces, Todd, eres bueno en, de en los deportes. Soy muy bueno en el deportes. Puedo jugar básquetbol, béisbol y puedo correr muy rápido, pero no puedo saltar tan alto. ¿Puedes jugar fútbol? No, no puedo jugar fútbol porque no soy bueno pateando el balón. Two, can you sing well? No, I can't sing at all. At all, at all. Como con R, at all. I have a terrible voice. My friend can sing very well. She has a beautiful voice. Can you play an instrument? No, I can't play an instrument either. I have no talent in music. ¿Puedes cantar bien? No, no puedo cantar para nada. At all, sugeriría que anoten esta frase. At all significa para nada. No puedo cantar para nada. Uh, tengo una terrible voz. Mi amigo puede cantar muy bien. Bueno, mi amiga. Ella tiene una hermosa voz. Eh, ¿Puedes tocar un instrumento? No, no puedo tocar un instrumento tampoco. No tengo talento en la música. Las palabras serían pretty, can, can, hi. Similar a decir hola, hi, algo así es. Hi. Um, kicking. Luego tenemos aro, como decir aro, pero con una L, aro. Terrible, tough, con F, como decir toffee, sin la I, tough, voice, either, either. Ok, we're going to practice a little bit, practicamos un poco, solo Teacher, unos minutos, yes. I have a question, Go what ahead. do you say después? After, ok. Mm. Eh, es que hay una palabra que se confunde con either o me equivoco. ¿Con? Either. Con, uh, ajá, con either. Ok. After es después y before es antes. Pero yo sé que after se parece a antes. After, antes, pero no, es lo opuesto. Um, no hay una palabra que sea como un sinónimo como either de después, no. Later. Ah, later. Mm, sí, yes. later es más tarde. Yeah, yeah. significa como más tarde por, por, por ejemplo see you later te veo más tarde más tarde o Ajá, confundí esa palabra con a, con either cómo es Ok. aquí tenemos either ah, esta either. es either y esta es later ambas terminan en er later either este es either verdad este es either y este es neither aunque los ingleses dicen either, sin la R, either, ¿verdad? Either, y ese es neither, pero sugiero either, neither, en eh, inglés este, americano. Pero sí, later es como después, como, hey, hacemos esto, mm, later, mejor después. Thanks. Okay, you're welcome.
bien, vamos a practicar alrededor de siete minutos, casi ocho. And then we say goodbye. Okay, my friends. See you in a moment.
Hello, Laura, tuviste dificultades. Hola, sí, sí, teacher. He estado teniendo problemas. El Inter, te ha estado fallando. Sí, sí, sí. Es poco. Me imagino, me imagino, pero bueno, ya vamos a terminar, ¿ok? No te preocupes. Okay, my friends, we're going to continue with the use of can and could tomorrow, eh, on Monday. Eh, seguimos con el, el uso del can y también del could el día lunes. ¿Verdad? Ya veo que ya estamos, ya están pendientes. Gracias, está súper pendiente con tu, con tu like, ¿verdad? Con tu mamá. Qué Sorry. bárbara, qué bárbara. No, eso se le llama anticiparse. Estaba dormida, profe. No, nah, hombre, está, gracias. Yo le, apoyé, yo le apoyé ahí con uno para que no se viera tan mal. No, nah, hombre, gracias. Qué, qué bárbara. Nah, Eres libre. Buenas gracias. noches, gracias. Buenas había dado noche. la indicación. <ríe> hey, my friends. Eh, disfruten su fin de semana. Recuerden trabajar en la plataforma. Por favor, terminenla toda para que lunes y martes no tengan problemas. ¿Ok? Nos quedan dos clases. Eh, yo Wendy, estoy frita. Sí, me sí a mí está un poquito frita, pero ánimo, tienes este fin de semana, ánimo. Ah, yo pensé que me iba a decir ánimo, tal vez le ayudan. <risa> ah, ya, ya sé por qué gracias está así, porque hoy es viernes, va ahí. Y el cuerpo sí. lo sabe, dice. Vamos, por... gracias con todo. Mi cuerpo sabe que se tiene que dormir. Ajá, ahí la veo más tarde por ahí. <risa> ok, good Jasmine, night. Eh, eh, good night. Eh, Wendy, ¿tenías una duda? No. Sí, teacher, yo tengo una duda. Ayer estuve haciendo lo del examen final, pero no me habilita la opción para enviar. ¿Por qué? Es porque seguramente te hace falta una, una respuesta, marcar una respuesta, completarla. Este, Fíjense que cuando tengan que escribir, no den doble espacio en el tema del apóstrofe. Eh, fíjense bien que, que, que sea la, sí, el apóstrofe y no una tilde. Fíjate bien en eso, ¿verdad? Cualquier cosa, ahí me escribe. Está bien, este teacher le voy a mandar una captura para que usted verifique cómo... Me gusta, qued, quédate un momento, quédate un momento y, y luego lo vemos, ¿verdad? El resto pasa en feliz noche, es viernes y es hora de descansar. Good night. Good night, Bye, bye, my friend. Yeah. See you. Ok, ya me la mandaste, Wendy. Ahorita, ahorita lo envío, teacher. Ok, vamos a revisar. Permítame. Sí, me da la opción para enviar, pero... Bueno, ahorita le mando captura. Listo, teacher. No, ahorita veo. Vaya, pero... Ahí tienes el botón de enviar. ¿O no? Sí, ese botón sí me lo habilita, teacher, pero este, donde dice Next, en las demás actividades sí me lo habilitaba y en esta no. Y el detalle es de que me aparece al final, cuando yo veo el progreso del curso, me aparece, no me aparece completo. Uh -huh. En la Va gráfica. Vaya, este... 
¿Cuántas veces has... Bueno, bueno, sugiero esto. Dale uh -huh. enviar, te sales de la plataforma, vuelves a entrar. Es eh, posiblemente que tenía fallas porque tiene que darte next por el hecho de que es la pregunta 5 y son 20 preguntas. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Así me aparece el, el progreso. Según sí, la déjame la... ver. El final te hace falta. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Aunque en las demás tienen una excelente nota. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Entonces intenta hacer eso, intentarlo nuevamente y si no me escribes, ¿verdad? Este, a veces la plataforma se satura y, y da problemas, no te habilita ciertas cosas, pero también fíjate que hayas terminado este, las, todas las preguntas, ¿verdad? Las, las hayas marcado. Mm, ok, voy a revisarlo entonces. Sí, porque ¿sí? cada el, el midterm y el final tienen cuatro partes, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Y cada parte vale 25%, ¿verdad? Mm, sí, sí, esas sí las tengo todas completas. El uh -huh. examen tiene cuatro uh -huh. y si las hice las cuatro. Muy bien, entonces Pero solo te el... faltaría, ajá, ya estarías casi por terminar, gracias. De hecho, eh, consideraría que, que tienes una buena nota, pero podrías tener una nota excelente. Uh -huh. Terminando ¿verdad? este. Yo lo sé, sí. yo lo sé que es lo que todos lo queremos, ¿verdad? Intenta Exacto. saliéndote, eh, vuelva a, a intentar y después me comenta, ok, Wendy. Está bien, está bien, gracias, sí. teacher. Pasa feliz noche, cuídate. Feliz noche, adiós. Bye.